wasn't going to come up this way, but one of my favorite spots is uh, got a gate on it now. That is how you take care of that. Good exercise. More. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be doing this today. Sweating buckets, it's a warm day out there. See what this does. And that is why we have this gear specifically for that scenario. It's just a never ending job, isn't it? Oh, it's steep. This is quite the exercise I'm getting. Blackberries are just coming into season here. Uh, grab that with the tire. Yes. There's just outdroppings just up there, so we gotta be prepared to see them too. Alright, hold your horses here. I think this is as far as I go. Um, that looks messy up there. This was not really in the plans today. We've got a couple of grouse here. They're a little timid. Except for the one coming right out on the road. For those of you wondering, the closest to me of the grouse got away, but I got the end grouse, amazingly. So one grouse coming up here. To me, that makes it worth it.
pull up here and clean that one out. Only got one, there were two. Don't need them all. This is the first bit of video that's not on the GoPro today. It's uh, September 9th, I'm out hunting, and um, tomorrow is the opening of deer season. So I decided to uh, camp out here. I'm in my Jeep right now, um, testing it out uh, with the new, I've had this foam pad for, I don't know, a couple of years or so, um, at least a couple of years. I haven't been out to test it. Some of the summers have been too hot and then it gets too rainy. And um, you just don't feel like being stuck in a hot Jeep. And uh, it's a little bit warm now. I'm probably gonna take off my shirt and uh, sleep that way tonight. But so far, I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna work. The, it's three inch foam. So it's this. And um, actually I got enough that it's almost like a pillow here. We'll see, I think it might work. I can stretch out. Oh. So I'm fully stretched out. So yeah, I've got two grouse so far and there were three grouse. There's three grouse probably 20 or 30 yards from me right now. Um, I scared them on the way up here. I tried to get out and get them. They flew off a little bit. So they're there, so <laughs> I could I could get a shot at them in the morning, but I really want to look and see um, if there are any deer around. So I hope everybody's doing great and we'll uh, catch you in the morning. Morning, everybody. We're gonna have a look around today. Just walk the roads here. any sign of deer. 6.23 a.m. so a little bit of a late start. I'm all packed up. So let's get going. There are already shots. see anything. Bees are out already. That scared the bejesus out of me. Did you guys see that grouse? Just sitting right up there. That's my three grouse from last night. They were still roosting. So I'm up before the grouse. <laughs> it's a good morning for a walk. I was gonna say almost I think, think I should go back to the Jeep and just sit and wait, see what pops up, but let's go this way. So here's the game trail. The last time I was out here. I saw a deer. an early morning hunter up there. He 
you see the lights? Oh, now the priest is coming behind me. This is fucked. It's good to know that the spot where I was with the Jeep, it's a good spot to be. See the Jeep there? It'd be hilarious to see a deer standing beside the Jeep. <laughs> Alright, see that truck up on the hill there? He's waiting. There's a truck on the road behind me. He stopped, so... I wonder how long he'll stop for. He can't do it forever. Unless he's going to turn around and ruin his hunt. Well, I'll share these roads. And these lands. Didn't expect somebody to be here so early. <laughs> oh. Right, you see this is all chewed up with footprints. Come out, come out wherever you are. I don't know whether I want to keep walking up or not. There's a green game trail up here, so let's go take a peek. If I can get up here easy enough. jacket and uh, head back down. I'm too loud in here. The sun's coming through now. Now to go bound down that which I came up. I've got to be careful I'm not wearing a light 20 pound pack anymore. See if there's anything on our way back. I can sure find the slugs, eh? See the Jeep right there. That's the Jeep. That's where we're heading. I don't see any deer by the Jeep. <laughs> it's a good morning walk. This pack's a little heavier than the normal hiking pack. This one's probably 35 as compared to my normal 20. And then I've got this rifle here with me. Weighs another eight pounds. It's good for the soul, eh? See that truck's gone? I wonder if that was the one that was behind me while I was walking. She is in all her glory. Sun's up. It's 
people all over the place. Start of a new day, I've already been for about a three kilometer hike or so with the pack, looking for deer on the road. Didn't see any. That's all right. We'll now head back, got a few roads to go. Um, see if we see any sign, but uh, maybe we'll get some grouse and then uh, get ourselves home. No, 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 no. No. So I have a new challenge. The cabling for my shifter for two wheel drive to four wheel drive to four low has become disconnected. Um, I can see it. I'm gonna try to reconnect it. The exhaust is hot. Um, I put on a jacket. Otherwise I'm stranded quite the way out here. So, wish me luck. Get down here. At least it's a convenient spot. Convenient spot. So this connects way back there. Oh my god, I got it back on. I had to shift the lever into neutral and then I was able to pop the cable back on the shifter cable for the four wheel drive back on to the little nub that it's on. I don't know if there's supposed to be a, a, a lock nut or a lo lock ring or something that holds it in place, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, I'm in four wheel drive now, I'm moving. So we'll leave it there. Um, I tried four, <laughs> that was trying to get into four low. Not doing that for the rest of the day. Thank you. God, that I carry, 
um, well, I didn't need tools for that, but a mat like this. And thank God that I was stuck in this dip here. Gave me lots of room to get under there, screw around. Okay, that was enough excitement for today because I'm a long way from, from rescue. Oh, I'm glad I was able to get that shifter cable back on. Panic setting in. Up here have a little bit of uh, I'll call it lunch breakfast wasn't really breakfast it was just a banana and then um, one more road to check for grouse then I'm heading home it's been a long one and a fun one eventful We got a little can of V8. One of my wraps for lunch yesterday that I didn't have. All right, we're good, let's go. What I was after coming up here. That's a big one, that's a sooty. So here's my grouse. Big sooty grouse. I've seen some better days. Let's straighten them up. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Much better. Ah. Well, that was a long two days. Successful. Three grouse. So I'm pretty happy about that. No deer. No sign of deer. Unfortunately. But uh, that's how it goes. First weekend of uh, full hunting for deer. 
So if you like these types of adventures, then uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe. We'll catch you next time.